Hello, this is Veena, your storyteller. Today I bring to you an inspirational story about an inspiring grandma. Well, she is none other than Karthaya Yani Amma. She is a native of Kerala and you'd be amazed to know about her life. She is a real woman pa. She made headlines after she became the oldest ever candidate to appear for the Kerala Literacy Missions Akshara Laksham Literacy Exam. So you see this book is based on her life. Barefoot Empress is a short documentary that follows the remarkable journey of 96 year old Karthaya Yani Yamma as she joins a first grade class realizing her lifelong dream of receiving an education. So she is from Kerala. Okay? and uh, you come to know about her life just look at that amazing lady out there you know what happened her story builds up like this she was born in 1922 and uh, after her husband's death she raised six children she worked as a domestic help and every time she to get a lot of objections from everywhere the women also are not allowed to enter the temple there's so many hardships she had to go through in spite of that he always had a yearning to learn so one day when the teacher went to the village and she said we are looking for children who are not educated we'd like to educate them and then amma says i'm your student if you can take me i'm ready to learn so she got married when she was very young at the age of 16 and so when her husband passed away at a very young age you know she had to raise her six children and uh, all along she always wanted to study and read and she was wait eagerly so when she saw a teacher coming there she thought this is my best chance and she said you know i'm ready if you can take me i would love to be admitted in school look at her eagerness don't you think we inspired finally the day came when amma was taken to the school and given admission and admission was granted oh my god wasn't that an amazing thing to happen so amma had gone through so many hardships she was eagerly waiting to you know to be in school and all the children welcomed her that's a class teacher when the children saw a grandma in the class they made fun of her and she ignored it and stayed focused on her studies all the teachers they helped her she always believed that age is not a factor for her and she started reading books and the teachers helped her a lot and uh, this is one of the teachers and the kids so she completes all her homework diligently and she talks about amma she wakes up at 3 am every day to study and uh, she is becoming an inspiration to the students And now the teacher asks Amma, "Can you recite tables?" And that's Amma's daughter, who also appeared for exam, you know, for the age at the age of 60. And Amma was inspired by her daughter as well. So she's an exceptional case, and she's been saving her favorite pencil for the final exam. Isn't that sweet? It's now been almost a year since Amma started school. How sweet is that? So all the teachers before exam they used to come and they used to help her. And Amma says, "I'm not scared. I will try my best." So the teacher says, "Pray before the exam, Amma." Amma is going to appear for her finals the next day, and she gets up early, lights Dia, and prays. She lifts up her favorite pencil and holds it to her forehead. Amma leaves for her exam, and the teacher said that when she had met Amma for the first time. She was a little weak in her studies but gradually when she took up studying and she took a lot of help and she was eager to learn herself she saw that in this exam she really scored well she scored 98% out of 100 wasn't that amazing and finally the day of the annual school awards the name of the school is government lps and then the finally the teacher announces the first rank holder guess who it was amma and she got a 98% so 
So if she can do it all at this age, anyone can. Thus the teacher who says she has stood first among 40,000 students. Wow! Amma says that she does this for the dignity of all women. She is a role model for all the girls. Rashtapati Bhavan, New Delhi, March 8, 2020. Amma is the recipient of the Goodwill Ambassador Award handed over by the President. Amma is now 100 years old and preparing for her fourth grade exams. Her dream is to pass the SSLC exam before the age of 100. She has proved that age or gender is not a barrier to achieve our dreams. We salute Amma. This is indeed an inspirational story and you are never too old to learn. And she is the living proof of this. I hope you enjoyed the story reading about Amma. So see you next time with another story. Bye children. You can all watch about Amma's life in this documentary Barefoot Empress in YouTube. Do watch it. You'll be extremely inspired. And do share her story. I salute Amma for her perseverance and dedication.